Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. We're starting the timer, Boom. baby. Boom. Let's go. All right, Jonas, this is our this is our free form uh podcast, right? So we can do whatever topics we want. Anything you want, dude. All right, Jonas, would you rather be able to see into the future for ten no, into the future ten minutes, or would you rather be able to see into the future a hundred and fifty years from now? Yeah, I can do it anytime I want. Yes, but you can only see either ten minutes from the exact moment that you do it. Or 150 years from the exact moment. Uh, 10 minutes, because then I could do it every 10 minutes. I mean, but you're only going to see, like, what? What are you going to see? Like, what are you going to see yourself going to the kitchen oh, to get a snack? Oh, I, I see what you mean. Okay. Uh, ooh. Well, here's the thing. In 150 years, I'll be dead, so it won't matter. Yeah. And in 10 minutes, I'll be doing pretty much what I was about to do, so it doesn't really matter. I think the most <laughs> relevant... I think the most relevant thing to me would be the 10 minutes because I'm like, hey, I'm about to uh, I'm about to uh, do this thing. Am I dead in 10 minutes? What kind of thing are you I don't doing know, dude, to get you killed? Like, I'm going like, to jump off this bridge and I can look in 10 minutes and see if, if I'm dead. And if I'm not, I can jump off the bridge. And if I can't... Why would you jump off a bridge is what I'm kind of... I mean, get... like... Okay, look, I get you with like, I'm about to get into an Uber... Let me make sure if I'm going to make it to my destination in 10 minutes or not. Yeah, or like I'm about to get in my car. I'm about to get on this roller coaster. Is is is, is a tragic event going to bestow me in the next 10 minutes? Honestly, to me, that sounds like you're going to be living in a hell where you're sitting there <laughs> with your eyes rolled back in the, in the back of your head every time you take a step outside because you're like paranoid about if you're going to die or not. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a living hell to me. It does, doesn't it? But Just like, because you have the ability to do so, you're going to be like, well, let me see if I'm going to die in 10 minutes. All right, let me see if you're going to die in 10 minutes. If, But if you had the ability, wouldn't you use it? Yes. I think that 150 years in the future has its benefits because you could be beneficial to the greater of man. Mankind. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. You could be like, look, I, I've seen into the future 150 years. If you guys don't get this climate ish under control, it's just going to go crazy. Oh, you're thinking like, OK, not just for your own. You're thinking like yeah. the benefit or I, I've seen into the future 150 years. China's taken over. We need to do something. Right, right, right. But but I feel like if you look ahead 150 years, that's that's the future no matter what. I mean, if you look into the future 10 minutes, wouldn't that just be the future no matter what? The thing is, is that if you can change the future in one case, then you can change the future in the other case. Oh, doing, I see what you mean. By yeah. doing certain things. So, but I guess, like, the, the time to change it is a lot shorter. Or like yeah, that. I mean, well, yours is mainly for, like, I guess, like, around the house utility. Let me check in 10 minutes to see if this roast will be done. <laughs> I don't even have to get up. I can just sit in the chair yeah. and be like, nope, not done yet. I think I'll give this laundry another 10 minutes. Let me look into the future to make sure it's dry in 10 minutes. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Or one is like you got to convince the government to actually like listen and believe that you're clairvoyant. Yeah. I see. And, and I think those are the only use cases for like 150 because I was like, oh, well, I yeah. can see like, hey, man, if I'm going to if I if I have to go on, like if I'm going to have sex with this woman, did we end up having a child and whatever? But just because it's 150, 150 years, yeah, like I was going to say, I could have had a child at any point. It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's in 10 minutes doesn't help that either, because, yeah, you don't know she's pregnant if you just had sex with that, her 10 minutes that ago. That's very true. So so like. They both have very limited use cases. Very limited. And who's going to believe you if you tell them you can see into the future 150 years? Nobody's going to believe mean, you. Nobody. Every, nobody believes Sylvia Brown, dude. She was on Montel Williams finding all those people. Remember her, that mind reader lady? She was on Montel Williams all the time. And no. She ended up becoming a farce or whatever. Go, go figure. Or what was the Miss Cleo, dude? Miss Cleo, I remember her. She saw into the future. Come now. <laughs> a lot of mercy. Dion Warwick was a psychic for a oh, while. Oh, the psychic friends, dude. The psychic friends network. Whatever happened to all of I these psychics, I was literally man. just about to say that. I'm sure. I wonder if they saw it coming. <laughs> they sure didn't see the downfall of their industry yeah. coming. <laughs> right? How did we not know that us as quacks were going to not be around in? Psychic network. So, uh, like, back in the day, there were just, like, a bunch of just, like, phone lines. And you would call in, put your credit card in on the phone. And, and you talk, would to, talk the lady. to people. 
on the phone. Oh my god, and no one ever talks on the phone now. And it was always like nine dollars a minute. Or yeah, five dude. A minute, it was five, like it was. I feel like phone sex and the psychic friends were the same service with different end results. Yeah, yeah. Because they both cost a bunch of money. They both gave you really probably nothing at the end. Yeah. And you just lost a bunch of money. It's basically Twitch and my free cams. Same thing. <laughs> it really is, there except for there's no video. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know, man. Have you ever been to a psychic? No. I don't believe in that stuff. I, uh, I've had tarot I readings went, before, though. I've had tarot read, for sure. A couple, like, maybe maybe three or four times you, in my life. You put any stock into that, Joni? No, not really. No. I mean, it's nice to listen to. Sometimes, like, um, I've had a friend, a friend who did it and had them do my stuff. And, uh, you know, sometimes, like, the things they talk about aren't necessarily things that that friend knows about you. I'm more apt to, but I feel like, because, like, if you have a friend do it, and they tell you something about you that you, that you know you've never told them, and they have no way to know. Then you're like, "Oh, that's kind of interesting." But on the flip side, I have I have went to a psychic lady, not the same one. I went I think two different times with someone just to like it was like twenty bucks. I was like, "Sure, read my." But they they read your cards too. It's just someone else reading your cards. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and what the experience I had was I mean it didn't I didn't I don't take any really salt especially from a stranger but like yeah she was just I remember at one point distinctly she was like you there's a so and so a woman in your family and I'm like no, you don't say there's and no and I'm like no family. and literally I'm like lady there's 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 no woman like but whatever she was describing just did not fit me at all and I'm like and she's like no but I see then and I'm and I'm like what you're what you're saying cannot be true. This isn't part of my, she's like, well, it must be an ant or, a th and I'm like, I don't have any ants. I don't, my, I'm like, I don't have any ants. I don't have any older cousins that I hang out with. I don't, what you're saying is not, you know, I don't have ants, termites, mosquitoes. Yeah, right. That. Exactly. So, but you don't, you don't put anything in psychics, but you said you've read your card reads, but yeah, it's yeah. always been through your friends. Yeah. Right? I've got okay. a story about uh, tarot reading. I've See if you can fit it in. All right. I'll give it a shot. So I was dating a girl. Um, and she was a Wiccan and she did tarot readings and she had like a deck with like pixies and like fairy dragons. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. There's all theme decks. Or yeah. Whatever. And I'd watched her do uh, tarot readings for her fan, for her friends, her family, me, herself, numerous, numerous, numerous of times as we were dating. Um, eventually she uh, went to her grandmother's house after she passed. I think not really sure, but uh, in the attic, she found a deck of tarot cards and she brought them home and she was like, I want you to have these. They belong to my grandmother. And I was like, wow, what a nice gesture. Because I know, you know, stuff like that meant, meant a lot to her. So I took the cards and I was like, all right, well, I guess the first thing I should do is I should ask the cards who is behind these cards. So I asked the deck, I was, I asked who's behind these cards and I started flipping over cards and I'm not exactly sure about the, the, uh, the meaning for all the cards at this point in my life, but I got a story about being, uh, uh, falling from grace and being power and losing power. And then the last card I got was the devil card. Okay. Now the devil card in tarot does not mean Satan or anything. Right, it right. It means something about change or something. I, I'm not sure. You can look it up for yourself. Right, right. But, you know, a little freaked out. Right, exactly. So I take the cards. I ask it the same question again. Flip over cards. Get a very similar story about, like, losing power or losing a good position and having to deal with another position and being very angry about it. Last card I flip over was the devil card. Wow. So I'm like, okay. Can't happen again, right? Right, right, right. Ask the deck for a third time. Who is behind this deck? Who am I? Who is the spirit behind this deck? Get a very similar story. Starts out with good and a lot of good things. Prosperity ends up with losing it all, being bitter. Last card I flipped over, the devil card, three times in a row. I quickly packed up the cards, handed them back to her, and said, "I think I'll pass." Yeah, no wonder I grandma had an attic. She like. <laughs> She was like, I think I'll pass. Well, that would be like if you were just like, ah, let me let me see what's going on with this card, and then you're like, let me flip over a card, death card, <laughs> death card, ah, <laughs> <laughs> death card. I'm like, I am not touching this deck, dude. It, I it, it was yeah, like and sure, it's like, what are the chances? One in a million? I'm good. I think for the, you get that same story with the devil is way more than one in a million because how many decks? Are, how many cards are in tarot? Like seventy? I don't know. It's dude. something like that. There's, it's know. not like ten. 
So, anyways, but uh, that, so ten minutes or one hundred and fifty minutes? Uh, I would take the one hundred and fifty, I guess, because right. it could be the best for humanity. I'm taking ten minutes. Okay, cool. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. We out.